Why is editing these days gotta be so hard? What software should I use? How do I actually edit my clips? I can never be one of these next big YouTubers at this rate. Hey kid, I heard you were new around here and are having trouble editing your video. Well, it's your lucky day, kid, because today I'm going to teach you how to edit your videos like an absolute god. I want to go home. Too bad. Welcome everybody to the ultimate how to edit on Premiere Pro for absolute beginners. The updated version. This is going to be the first video in this new series where I teach you how to do everything an upcoming YouTuber should learn to become more successful on YouTube. So if you've clicked on this video, congratulations, this has been the best decision of your life. Now what we're going to learn today is how to edit high quality videos from scratch. Here are some examples. Alright boys, get ready to breach! Let's fucking do this, c***! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright motherfucker! Welcome to Vietnam. We're gonna go suck some dick. First round's on me. Cue the music. Cue the music. Sebastian, I'm scared. <laughs> now, without further ado, let's do this. First things first, have Premiere Pro installed and ready to go. If you haven't got Premiere Pro yet and are looking to edit high quality videos and begin your career on YouTube, then check out the link in the description. It also helps support me and these videos. Once you have Premiere installed, open the software and navigate to new project. If you're using the up-to-date version, it should look like this. In the top left of the screen, you can then name your project and select where you want your project to be saved. Once you have done this, go to the bottom right of the screen and click on create. All right, welcome to your new Premiere Pro screen. Now let's get some of your new footage in here. To import your footage, simply drag it into the timeline located at the bottom of the screen or go to file in the top left and select import. Then select your footage. Once it's imported, drag it into the timeline if you haven't already. Great, we have our footage. Now we need to cut it down into the best parts and remove the parts that we don't want. Press the space bar to play the footage and when you find the clip you want, pause the video by pressing space again and then press C and click on the area in the footage you want to cut. If you have a clip that you don't want to use in your video, then highlight the clip and press delete. Then right click on the area in between the clip and click ripple delete. This moves the clip in the timeline to the left so you're not left with any blank areas. Now if you have a lot of footage you can press L on your keyboard to increase the playback speed or you can look at the audio peaks to see when interesting things happen. <laughs> All right, congrats. You've cut down your clips and now we're ready to actually start editing. Now, personally, I like to start with adding subtitles to the videos first. Now, I'm only going to cover the basics of text in this tutorial. However, if you're looking for a more in-depth guide, then check out this text video when it's uploaded. Press Ctrl and T on your keyboard and type the text on the screen. Once you have typed your text, go to the Effect Controls panel in the top left and open the text option and click on the Center Align Text option. Then hold Ctrl on the keyboard and drag the text to the bottom of the screen or wherever you want to place the text. Now, feel free to mess around with the following options to create text that suits your video. In my case, I'm going to use a nice, bold, easy to read font such as American Captain. Now to get my text to stand out more, I'm going to add a stroke and set the color to black and set the size to 10. I'm also going to add a black shadow to my text. This allows my text to stand out and allows the viewer to easily read it. All right, up next, music. Music is important for videos because it creates rhythm for clips, emphasizes the overall story, and it can help craft a wide range of emotional responses from an audience depending on the music. For example, if we take this clip here, it looks like an innocent dancing cat. However, if you were to change the music to this. Now, the cat looks. Now, you've probably been wondering. Hey, Marv, how did you just use Would I Lie to You by David Guetta without being copyright claimed? All the songs I use in my videos keep getting copyrighted. Well, my friend, let me introduce you to a little secret of mine. Lit. Licked allows creators to play popular mainstream music in their content, and the best part is, you can still monetize your video. On top of their collection of mainstream music, Licked also has a giant collection of stock music. Licked has over 1 million tracks that you can use for your content, ranging from Baby No Money, 
All the way to a personal favorite of mine, Astronaut in the Ocean by Masked Wolf. What you know about rolling down in the All we have to do is search for the track that we wish to use in the video, either by using the search bar, or you can select what category of music you're after. Then add the song to your basket and go to checkout. Licked also has a vast range of sound effects that you can use in your videos, varying from stings to comedy sounds and even ambience music. Nice. Sign up to Lick to my link in the description for 14 days free stock music and 50% off your first mainstream chart track. Now once we have dragged in the music we wish to use, we need to make sure that the audio level is at an appropriate range. If the music is too loud or too quiet, then we can either click on the track and decrease the level up in effect controls, or we can right click on the audio, navigate to audio gain and re either reduce or increase the gain depending on the volume we want. The same goes to sound effects, simply drag in the sound effect, change the volume by pressing G on the sound to make sure the audio stays in the green range on the audio meter. Also make sure to click save like every 5 seconds. You can thank me later. Nice, now let's recap. We inserted our clips and cut them down. We added a nice text to our videos and we've added music and sound effects. Now let's add some zooms to our video. Zooms are great to use, especially in gaming videos as it highlights important parts of the clip to the viewer. What's the password to your Minecraft account? Now, there are many ways you can add a zoom to your video, but I'm gonna show you how I usually do it, which you've seen like 30 times already in this video. 31 times. First, go to the clip in which you wish to zoom. Then under effect controls, click the stopwatch for scale and position. Then go forward five frames by using the arrow keys on your keyboard and increase the scale and change the X and Y axis of the position so that the area you want to zoom in is in the middle of the screen. Then feel free to add your own whoosh sound effect to your video. Watch this. <coughs> nice. <laughs> I should also mention that if you're ever looking for sound effects or green screens to use in your video, you should check out my Discord where we have dedicated channels for editing resources and sound effects. You could also network and collab with like-minded creators and also get a warm welcome from your boy, yours truly. Up next, transitions. Transitions are added at the beginning or the end of a clip or sound to create a smooth, succulent looking video. A Premiere Pro has loads of built-in bullshit. <laughs> now Premiere Pro... <laughs> Now Premiere Pro has loads of built-in transitions that you can simply drag onto your clips. Now I do recommend experiment with the transitions and see which ones work with your video. Just remember to not overdo it. A simple cut to the next clip can be all you need. The same goes with audio transitions. If you have one song that leads straight to another, you can use an audio crossfade to make a smooth transition. You can also fade in a song or sound effect by going to effect controls again, setting the audio to the lowest option, skipping forward a couple frames and changing the level to zero decibels. I use this in almost all my sound effects and music, which helps create that smooth transition. Yeah, you see, you see what I mean? Doesn't that sound smooth? Up next, exporting your video. Now that we have finished our video, congrats by the way, we can now export it. To export, simply click on the export at the top. Name your file, select the location you want to export to, make sure the format is in H.264 and change the frame size and frame rate to whatever you're looking for. I do recommend full HD, which is 1920 by 1080 and 60 frames a second. However, because I am an absolute unit, I'm going to export this current video in 4K. Much better than the 480p I used to export just when I was a little wee boy. Make sure you select the areas you want to export using this mini timeline here. Open this drop down box here and select scale to fit. Then click on export. Do you remember that like most things, the more time you put into editing, the faster and more confident you will be. If you want to show people your first edit reel, feel free to promote it in my self promote channel where other people can provide feedback. And thank you for eternity. Now subscribe. Do it now. Harder daddy. What? What? Oh. <laughs>